Hey, what's going on, guys? We're going to be talking about the LG Stylo 6. Now, here's the cameras ultra wide, which is going to be the 5 megapixel. Then you're getting a 13 megapixel wide angle. So, that 13 megapixel is pretty wide, but the LG Stylo 6 does offer that ultra wide angle at 5 megapixels, which is 120 degrees which I do like and you can actually switch it between 0.9 and 0.5 you also can see that we have a triple camera setup so the 13 is going to be the main camera at 13 megapixel wide angle 5 megapixel 120 degree and ultra wide angle 5 megapixel depth sensor for portraits the whole phone does have a nice feel in the hand although it is plastic materials a plastic composite and you are getting a huge uh, display on this phone which is actually crazy it's a it has 395 pixels per inch it's pretty visible in the Sun although there can be a glare depending on how you hold the device so you want to make sure you hold it directly towards you when you're outdoors or else you'll get a glare on the screen otherwise you're able to maneuver through the software of the camera pretty easily and when it comes to taking video on the, the phone, once you hit the record button, you can see that the video is actually pretty stable. Uh, the colors do look pretty plenty bright and plenty sharp. Also, you do, you do get a variety of lights and darks and shadows are captured really well. <clears throat> now, when I did zoom in to focus, it went up to four times zoom. So I was able to zoom in on different caricatures, as you can see right here. And uh, I did like the fact that uh, it did offer a smooth transition when zooming in and out. So uh, that was definitely good to see that, you know, the LG Stylo 6 did have a nice zooming mechanism on the camera module this year. Also, when it came to snapping pictures, with the AI camera, it did offer photos that did have a nice color to it. It was um, somewhat unrealistic, the colors. However, it did for, offer a really nice color science and um, you know overall color palette, which I did like. And um, I was able to snap a few pictures of some different um, plants and flowers and overall like backgrounds and sceneries and the depth of the pictures and was decent for the $300 price point now there are other phones that will offer better cameras however this one was actually pretty decent for a prepaid phone from Metro by T-Mobile now as you can see here the front facing camera did offer some decent camera stabilization and it did offer some nice color science in the background it, it didn't blow out the blue too much even if the sun was directly next to me in the front you can still see the clouds right behind me around front i was getting a glare in my eye but you can still see that around back the uh clouds were still capped nicely now when it did come to that ultra wide angle five megapixel camera it was plenty sharp you were able to mess around with the degree of uh, the angle as you can see right here and you can just maneuver that degree uh, which was pretty nice so I did like the fact that I was able to play around with it in that sense and kind of get a cinema cinematographic feel then I switched it to the wide angle with the 13 and I was able to get more details as you can see right here I wasn't able to read the uh, uh, letters on the ice cream truck however but it did offer some pretty good uh, zooming detail overall and just a nice cinematic flow which was actually really usable for like you know the average video of like today like an average smartphone but the autofocus was actually really good it automatically recognized what was in front of me and um, I did like the fact that this phone does implement the uh, auto artificial intelligence AI camera sensors now so even the ultra wide angle camera 5 megapixel did have a really nice steady recording and 
it looked really good honestly it was a really nice camera lens i'm glad that they added that in because it, it was actually ultra smooth it kind of looked even smoother than the 13 megapixel and uh when I would zoom back on the 13 megapixel, you could see the details that it offered. It was just a really nice camera at 30 frames per second. So, you know, there wasn't anything wrong with these cameras in any sense of the imagination. And then you can see right here, I was able to capture a photo, like a video of this plant and, uh, you know, like all the sim uh, scenery around me. So these, these flowers came out really nice when it came to the photos when they were just moving in the wind so you know they weren't staying still so it was a difficult sh uh, shot to get because those plants were actually moving around but um you know it was awesome because this phone did offer steady uh you know steady mode as i was walking in the ultra wide 5 megapixel and on the 13 megapixel as well which was really nice now I can definitely say for this phone, one of its strong suits was this autofocus. It has like a laser autofocus and also the steady mode was really stable when I was walking on, on we're using the 13 megapixel ultra wide and I mean the 13 megapixel wide and the 5 megapixel ultra wide. Even when I was running and I sped up, I noticed that the stability was still pretty good on the 13 megapixel wide. And when I started walking fast, I didn't notice any decrease in pixels or anything like that. There wasn't any choppiness whatsoever. It was a nice, smooth transition overall. So these cameras didn't disappoint when it came to the money that you're spending because the cameras are actually really nice. Now, I, I can do some low light video and, uh, uh, you know, photos, but that's where this camera actually is going to um, disappoint you know it's not going to be the best in the world when it comes to the low light so you, if you would want to just stick to you know the wide angle outdoors and ultra wide angle outdoors as well with video and fo photos and you won't be disappointed you could use both of them for pretty much anything like really the, this is really impressive footage here and you could probably use use this for YouTube, honestly. This that's how good this this steady recording is, and how they they just mastered the science on a budget phone. Just kind of blew my mind. I, you can get that autofocus here as well with the wide angle, so that's pretty cool. But I hope you guys found this video helpful. It's your boy Saran. I'll check you guys later. But in the meantime. Hit the like button if you found this video helpful and also hit the bell icon so you can get notified for all future videos. But you guys are the real MVPs and I'll check you guys later. But in the meantime, have a great morning, afternoon, and evening. Depending where you are, have a great night. Later, crew. Peace.